She was our first girl, which was, you know, kind of special. She was a, a good child, what else can I say? She was her own person, uh, kind of determined, was going to do it her way. And as we um, advanced in years, as we all know, mothers and daughters really have some problems as they in their teenage years and right past it. <laughs> but I will say now, as she got older, she was my best friend. And um, I miss her very much. We all have different memories of growing up. Uh, we would say that Beth probably had the best memory, right, boys? Well, whether she was right or wrong, she was right. Yes, she was loud and right. <laughs> exactly. Well, there's a little bit of a age gap between Beth and I and the rest of them. So Beth, to me, was more like a, uh, she was a great big sister, but almost a, a second mother as well. So she always looked after me and tried to look after these guys and, and keep the fighting to a minimum. Beth was uh, doggedly determined uh, in everything she did. Um, you could not tell her that she couldn't do anything because she could do everything and better than you. She didn't have to tell you that she could do it better. She just, <laughs> she just did it. She was vivacious, she was charming, she was so outgoing. And um, uh, after I met her family, I knew why. But, but she was, if not the first date, within two or three, uh, I knew. I, I hope she did, but I knew uh, where this would go. She gave me a deadline, <laughs> and uh, uh, I didn't quite make that deadline, but, but we got together and made sure it would happen. I, uh, uh, like I said, after the first time I met her, I was sure, but when you're older, and we were older, uh, you're not ever uh, positively sure you want to get married. Uh, but I did, and she made sure that I knew that. <laughs> she would always plan trips. She would be the first to, you know, push me into doing something that I didn't want to do. She was just very outgoing in a way that made you feel like you were welcome, no matter who you were. She would do anything for anyone and just show full love and support for each and every person, no matter who they were. I thought Beth would live forever, quite frankly, and it was uh, uh, quite a shock. I remember I came home from a, a golf trip. I felt guilty for being away after she told me that she had gone on her own to the doctor and found out that she probably had breast cancer. And uh, uh, no, I, I couldn't imagine it then, and I still can't to some extent. I was devastated. It can't happen to my daughter. It shouldn't happen to a young person. Uh, it, my first thought was, why not me? And she cried, and it devastated her, I think, for a short while, but she accepted it. She never complained. She never asked, why me? She carried it well. Obviously, shock. We're, we're somewhat devastated, and I, I feel a little guilty, and I bet these guys do too. We kind of laughed and snickered and I said, well, cancer had to strike any of us, probably Beth, because she's going to beat it. Oh, uh, there's no she, doubt in my mind that she was going <clears> to. <throat> oh, yeah. 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 She was going to beat this thing. She, it was, knew what she was up, to the, up yeah. to the challenge. Yep. And she did. Yep. She whipped it. Yep. She whipped it good. And the only yep. way it got her had to just kind of disguise herself and come back as something else. And Through all that, we, there was so much love as well. That day was very tough, but only love and support after that. Knowing that Beth had the friends she had and especially the family that she had um, meant everything. It meant that I didn't have to be there 24-7. It meant that she had people to take her out constantly. In fact, nearly too much where it was daily and we had to back it off a little. Um, she had so many people that were her best friends. Uh, and, and I've often thought at Beth's service, if I'd ask uh, who's Beth's best friend, there would have been 150 hands come up. I truly believe that was her greatest gift was that uh, 
do unto others as you would want them to do to you. She was really a friend to so many people, and it obviously showed. And I do think that this is what is so great in our Charlotte community to have this facility here for people who don't have what Beth had. She had an incredible force of friends and family to back her up. So many more people that get breast cancer need something like Carolina Breast Friends than don't. Uh, they provide incredible support uh, to folks with breast cancer. The biggest thing they can provide, in my opinion, is companionship, uh, someone to listen, someone to share with. Um, so that's why I think Beth would even think this was very good use of her memory time. On behalf of Beth, I want to thank everyone for coming and for their support. A ton of money has been raised already. I'm sure a lot more will be raised tonight. Thank you so much. While Beth is watching and would be appalled that we're doing this, I think deep down she'd be very honored. So thank you.